Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm John. Welcome to Geeks One on One. We are going to be showing you reviews and tutorials about stuff we like, mostly tech stuff, but also more. Our first video will be a tutorial about how to install the PlayStation 3 True Blue Dongle and how to update it. We are also going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay from some of the latest games like Dark Souls and Soul Calibur 5. Okay, so let's begin. We will switch to our screen now and begin with uh, downloading of the necessary files. Okay, so here we are on our screen now, and the first thing we want to do is go to the True Blue dongle site. It's TrueBlueJB2.com, and you're gonna go to the downloads, and here you will see the two necessary files. So let's just go and start downloading these files. Okay, and once you've got them downloaded, you'll get these two files. One of them is 170 megabytes, the other one is just some kilobytes, like 704. We're going to unwrap them. So these are the two files that you're gonna see. And in this file, the custom firmware v2 version 2 file, you will see a file that says ps3 update.pup and this one, in order to make it visible for your PlayStation 3, the first thing you need is a USB stick or an external hard drive and it should be formatted on a, a FAT32 format. It, your PlayStation 3 cannot read any other format, so I'm gonna insert mm -hmm. my USB stick right now <coughs> and once the computer recognizes it we're going to create a new file and the name should be PS3 in capital letters that's important or else it will not see that inside that folder we create another folder that will be named update again with capital letters and we're gonna copy this file into our USB stick we're gonna open up the second folder and we're gonna copy just as it is and now that we have the two folders needed, we're gonna go to our PlayStation. We've copied all the files that we need to do the update. And the first thing you need to do is, first of all, important, don't insert the USB dongle, not yet. And we're gonna check it out. The first thing you wanna check is your firmware version. You need to be below 3.55 to be able to do this or exactly on 3.55 so let's go down here and check our system information you'll see we're on 3.55 so let's go to the system update and you press the update via storage media not the via internet so press X and it says that it has detected uh, the 3.55 true blue DG that's a dongle so we press OK and we let it do its stuff. It's gonna take a while. Okay, let's agree to everything first and press start without uh, checking the turn off system automatically after update. <coughs> it's gonna take a while, so I guess we're gonna fast forward it for you because it's about 10 minutes. So the next thing you need to do is to go to your game and install package files folder and we will need to find the true blue update 2.5.pkg that's the package that we downloaded and it's the latest up to this date so you first need to just install it and again we still haven't inserted the USB dongle yet 
Okay, now that it's installed, we just go to the installed application and we just run it. Okay, and now we're prompted to insert our USB dongle now. So let's actually do that. Just give me a second. We just click on the OK. And it says that the TruePlue dongle updater 2.5 is ready to, you know, do its stuff. So we press OK again and we wait until the update is done. OK, dongle update complete. The system will now restart. Just press OK and wait for the PlayStation 3 console to reboot. Okay, so now that the system is booted up again, let's go to our system information. We do have our USB dongle connected right now, so let's go down to the system information and you will see the version 3.55, TrueBlue version 2.5. If you boot up without the dongle on your PlayStation 3, it will say just what it said before, version 3.55 and it will act like it acted before if you had a custom firmware. If you boot up your manager, it will play any games that you played before, but not the games that require a firmware higher than 3.55. So let's go and check out our new firmware, and we just put up Multiman, one of the best managers out there. Okay, so Let's find our game. I have actually some games that are for a firmware higher than 3.55. One of the famous ones is Dark Souls. So let's just click the X button and wait for it to just go back to the XMB of the PlayStation 3. And let's quit this. And I'm going to show you Soul Calibur 5, which is one of the newest games that came out. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, we hope you liked our video. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press that like button that will appear in this around here and share it. Yes, yeah, Twitter, Facebook, or anything else. Share it. Yeah, just share it. <laughs> okay. And bye bye for now. Okay, bye bye. Just stop it, man. <clears throat> right now? <laughs> okay. Okay, here we are again. <laughs> I um, told you, you, you forgot about okay, our website. Sure. I mean, I'm okay. Sure. Okay. So, what? You, our what? website? Come okay, on. Okay, we are going. We are preparing the website for you, so you will have our latest news uh, coming soon. Stuff for uh, for our videos and. Yeah, it will be related to yeah. whatever we More do. on the fly update. Maybe, maybe we will add a any mail, news mail letter like once a week or twice a week. Okay. So, you know, stay tuned. I guess we're going to be making more videos if you like. More to come, more to come. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> For good now. Yeah, yeah, bye.